equation of a line passing through two given points. Let A x1 y1 z1 and B x2 y2 z2 be two points on the line L. Now let A vector and B vector be the position vectors of the point A and B respectively. Let P be any arbitrary point on the line with position vector R. It's clear that A, P, B are the points lying on the line. So, A, P and A, B are collinear vectors. Therefore, from the definition of collinear vectors, vector A, P is equals to lambda into vector A, B for some lambda belongs to real numbers. But vector AP is equal to vector OP minus vector OA that is R vector minus A vector. Similarly, vector AB is equal to vector OB minus vector OA that is B vector minus A vector. Substituting the respective values in vector AP is equal to lambda into vector AB we get R vector minus A vector is equals to lambda into B vector minus A vector. That is vector R is equals to vector A plus lambda times vector B minus vector A. Therefore, vector equation of a straight line passing through two given points A and B with position vectors A and B respectively is vector r is equal to vector a plus lambda times vector b minus vector a for some lambda belongs to r. Equation of a line through a given point and a parallel to a given vector b bar. Let a bar be the position vector of the given point A with respect to the origin O of the rectangular coordinate system. Let L be the line which passes through the point A and parallel to a given vector B bar. Let P be any arbitrary point on the line L with position vector R bar. From triangle law of vector addition, we have OA bar plus AP bar is equal to OP bar. But we have OA bar is equals to A bar and OP bar is equal to R bar. Now, the line L is parallel to the given vector B bar. That is AP bar can be written as AP bar is equal to lambda into B bar for some real number lambda. From vector law of addition, we got OA bar plus AP bar is equal to OP bar. Now, substituting the corresponding values that is OA bar is equal to A bar and AP bar is equal to lambda B bar and OP bar is equal to R bar. We get A bar plus lambda B bar is equal to R bar. Therefore, equation of a line through a given point and parallel to the given vector B bar is R bar is equal to A bar plus lambda B bar. Angle between two lines. Let L1 and L2 be two lines passing through origin with direction ratios A1, B1, C1 and A2, B2, C2 respectively. Let P be any point on L1 and Q be any point on L2. Let theta be the angle between two directed lines OP and OQ. Now, 
these directed line segments are nothing but the vectors with the components a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 respectively therefore the angle between the vectors op and oq are cos theta is equal to modulus of a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 by root over a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into root over a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square if instead of direction ratios direction cosines say l1 m1 n1 for l1 and l2 m2 n2 for l2 are given then the angle between these two lines are given as cos theta is equal to modulus of l1 l2 plus m1 m2 plus n1 n2 as l1 square plus m1 square plus n1 squared and l2 square plus m2 square plus n2 squared both are equal to 1 angle between two straight lines in terms of sin theta we know sin theta is equal to root over 1 minus cos square theta substituting the value of cos theta we get sin theta is equal to root over 1 minus a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 whole square by a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square on simplification we get sin theta is equal to a1 b2 minus a2 b1 whole square plus b1 c2 minus b2 c1 whole square plus c1 a2 minus c2 a1 whole square divided by root over a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into root over a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square condition for two lines with the direction ratios a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 to be perpendicular if these two lines are perpendicular then the angle between them that is theta is equal to 90 degrees then cos 90 is equal to 0 so we get a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equal to 0 condition for the two lines to be parallel if two lines are parallel then angle between them is 0 substituting theta is equal to 0 in the formula sin theta we get the condition for two lines to be parallel as a1 over a2 is equal to b1 over b2 is equal to c1 over c2 now let us find the angle between two lines when their equations are given if theta is acute angle between the lines r vector is equal to a1 vector plus lambda b1 vector and r vector is equal to a2 vector plus mu into b2 vector then the angle between these two straight lines is cos theta is equal to modulus of b1 dot b2 over mod b1 into mod b2 